Warning, I swear a lot. Instead of that, why don't I show you guys something stupid? Would you guys like to see something stupid? I know you would. That's why you're watching this. I want to find the toughest infested survival mission I can. Now, if all goes according to plan, I can show you something incredibly stupid. It is my recipe for, uh, like, not infinite survival against the infested, but pretty fucking close. And it basically consists of having a melee weapon with, like, a bunch of the gladiator mods on it. So that ev your, as your melee combo multiplier goes up, the crit chance increases exponentially. Combined with high crit damage and a weapon that smacks people, like, three or four times Distract before they can react. Chest. And you have some serious damage going. Set off the alarms to Once start. again, combine that with a frame that can heal itself and is reasonably durable. Not Oberon's not very durable, but reasonably durable, enough to take a hit or two. And you have a real uh, monster on your hands, ironically, considering where we are. Yep, yep, this is going to be the rest of the episode. Enjoy it. I can find my way to the fucking um, life support pods because I kind of need to do that. So you'll notice in the bottom right that my combo multiplier is currently at two. Already, that is a significant boost to my lethality in melee combat. It's only going to get higher. I haven't even turned on my healing powers yet. I don't need to. I guess it is completely unnecessary by this juncture. Alright, I don't actually want to lose that though. I should point out, in case some of you are wondering, that some of the mods I have in my storage also increase the duration of which I can not swing at people before my combo multiplier disappears, which means I have an extended period of time to either find new targets or get to safety if necessary. So I don't need to throw myself into horrific circumstances that I can't possibly survive. It works pretty well overall. As I'm hoping to demonstrate, like, that's the plan right now. Just, just smack things. Guys, why aren't you attacking me? I was expecting more. You guys haven't even begun to see what a massive fucking piss take this outfit, this, like, my loadout is, as it were. 200 kills, easy, no problem. Next. I should point out also, uh, <laughs> that a lot of the talk I'm gonna do right now is pretty much gonna be for people who have at least played Warframe, but by the same token, I feel like people who are perhaps interested in playing, or at least have a knowledge of video games in general, could probably appreciate it. What makes my particular brand of Oberon work pretty well is a combination of high health, low energy consumption, a heal over time, which I haven't even activated yet because I don't need it right now, and the fact that whenever I start taking health damage, every, every time I take health damage, I get energy back, and then I'm healing myself. And then people are damaging me, but I'm getting my health back and also getting energy, which means I become a self-sustaining economy, which is nice. Also, this stick that I'm hitting people with is pretty good. See? See all the good stick hitting that's happening? That's good. Unfortunately, it doesn't leave a lot in terms of commentary, because really, what I'm doing is running around mashing circle. And I mean, you know... There's not much you can say about that. But the thing is, this is something that, in terms of my overall stuff I should be doing in Warframe, is something I should be doing in my off time, but I figured, like, it would be pretty smart, quite efficient, and might make for an interesting video to incorporate that... Because there is a bit of grinding in this game, I'm not gonna lie. You need resources and stuff, you need to level things up. Enemies, there. Um, and that requires a lot of things like this. So I figured, why not... Play- just do this while you guys are watching, you know? There's no shame in it. Everyone, you should be perfectly willing to let people watch you play with yourself. I mean, some people make money from it. I'm not at that level yet. I don't have that kind of cash or that kind of influence to make that happen. But, there's no, no need to be ashamed. It's perfectly natural, we're all human beings. As long as you identify as one, of course. I don't want to presume anything. You do you. I am s gonna pause. I am sweating. Goddamn buckets. And I don't know why. I think it's fucking light. Spy missions? But I'm not doing a spy mission. Oh, I think pausing the game got rid of my multiplier. That's fine. I don't really, you know. It's doing just fine the way it is. Now, the idea of a survival mission, for those of you who do not know, is that over time, 
these levels go up and up and up, uh, stronger enemies start showing up as well as having higher levels. And the idea being that eventually you kind of have to bail because the enemies just get too strong and for the most part can either one-shot you or just aren't taking damage from what you're doing. But with this neat little um, system I have going, I'm just going to activate that now because I think Toxin is going to start coming into play a bit more. Uh, I can keep this up for an incredibly long time. Incredibly long time. Where are you? Bo ah, I'm, I'm going to get you like so. Oh, Christ. I don't know what that was. Oh, a healer, eh? More like a dead. Oh, God. I didn't lose my combo. Everything's fine. Now, at a time like this, if I lost my combo multiplier, not really a big deal. It wouldn't be hard to get it back up. But later on... Sir? 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 Don't do that. I do need some life support. Excellent. Which is weird, though, because I've been killing them fast enough that I shouldn't really be low on health. Oh, low on life support, even. Because the enemies drop life support canisters as well as having limited ones dotted around the map. That's the idea. Because the way the um, way that's presented to you is that you can't just hide away from the enemies and keep getting the life support towers because they eventually run out. They don't appear faster than you lose your life support, so you need to kill the enemies in order to take theirs. But I'm not getting a lot of that at the moment, which is quite unfortunate. I'm not too worried, though. We're getting enough of it that we're keeping pace with the overall drain of resources, as it were. Is it me or the fucking infested here not really doing their job? Oh, hello. You want to, uh, you want to reconsider, buddy, what you were doing when you came here to mess with me? Yeah, I know you're benefiting from a healer, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Just gonna capture you. Good stuff. You're right there, guys. I wish you guys would actually... Oh, you fucking ruined my combo, you asshole! It's fine. I don't even care. Do, do I look like someone who cares? Because I, I evidently do not. Like, it does not bother me. In the slightest. Fuck, Molotovs. Space Molotovs. Where the fuck is everyone? What, did I put this on easy mode? What is this, Dark Souls 2? Uh, I hope you were looking to die to- Ah, oh, you motherfucker! You think you're so clever, don't you? With your fucking Molotovs. That's two. No worries, no problems. Oh, you over there, you need to die. Of course, you get moments like this where you don't even have to fight. You just run around picking up the many uh, life support towers that you haven't claimed yet. So you, the amount of time that you survive for is even longer because you're not in immediate danger. There's a lot to consider. Life support yep. activated. I'll just wait here until um, more danger show up. So what's been going on with you guys? Uh, the new puppy's coming along nicely. He stopped peeing in the house, which is great. Because I was getting really sick of mopping up pee. As uh, anyone would. Anyone out there who's a janitor, I now know your pain. Not the worst, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it is inconvenient. Especially when it's your house. Oh! Oh, you're like that, are you? Alright, time to heal. I'm gonna get you so good, you like so. 2,500 credits? What is this? Peasant frame? I did it. Just occurred to me, aren't I supposed to be getting the explosive radius effect from Vaycor Sidon? Or is that just heck and Marilat lock? Or do you only get one? Like, you can't just have a full fucking weapon set and have all of them have the uh, radius effect. I don't know. Who's next? Who wants some of this? You think you're funny. You're even more funny as a corpse. Look, I turned his spine into a clown. Now he's just depressing. Whatevs. Don't care. 
try again when you get good, which will be never because you're dead. Sorry to inform you, but I felt like someone needed to tell you. You didn't seem to be aware of the fact that you were dead. Here we go. Oh, you! You are the one who is the ball licker. You must die. You can just smash circle, really, I mean. I hear they're uh, revising the combat soon. I think it's already reached the P uh, PC players. This is on PS4, in case that wasn't immediately obvious. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing with the combat, because while the combat's all right now, it could definitely be better. Like, all this channeling shit is fucking useless. Although, I could probably be using it right now, because I have so much energy. But, you know, who cares? Oh, that is extra damage! Oh, that is extra damage. Alright, maybe I should have talked shit. I love it, because like, there's the moment when your shields drop, and there's like a, a little sound a comfy, uh, that will accompany it. Which is sort of like an, oh no moment, you're kind of in danger. But for me, it's like, when my shields go down, it's like, good, now I'm getting energy. There's a reason I haven't buffed my shields, because they're not the most useful defensive measure for me. They can be helpful, but for the most part, they're almost a bit of a hindrance. Because I want enemies to get through the shields, so I start earning energy. I've thought this through. I'm not really good at this kind of, like, clever combinations in games like this. Like, you get Magic the Gathering, for instance, or Hearthstone, where it's, like, building things in a certain way to get beneficial results. I'm typically very bad at it, but I am quite pleased with myself when it comes to, to this, to my Ogron Prime, because he's built himself quite well. And this feels a little more satisfying than the frames where you can just stand in one spot and spam an ability and everything around you dies, because that's not really gameplay. This is only just gameplay, because I'm not fighting these guys properly, really. I'm just flying about and smacking them. But it's still something. It feels a bit more satisfying. It's a bit more engaging. I need two hands to do this. Can't just start, you know, whacking it. Although it would be very difficult in this circumstance, given what I'm up against, but not impossible. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hunt down the last fugitive and then we're going to leave. I think 15 minutes is enough. Where are you, fuckface? Look what our Tenno operative just found. Hey, a Neo Relic. They Lovely. Do this without you. Oh, I fell for that trap before. Not again. I might, I might die. I might die. I died. <sighs> what a wanker. Alright, fine. How about this? How's this feel, huh? You like this? Is this good for you? Is this good for you? Do you like it? Fucking dickhead. I'm sorry, I lost my temper. 55,000 credits. That is lovely. 465 kills. Ah, uh, standard. Whatever. It's not really a big deal, you know. Could be better. So, for those of you who are perhaps not particularly experienced at Warframe and just want to get better, or have just started or whatever, I will show you just quickly my Oberon Prime's mod set. Because it's pretty decent. We start with Steel Charge, which isn't... Well, actually, for this, <laughs> it didn't even occur to me, but for what I've got there, running the survival missions with the Vacor Sidon, Steel Charge is amazing, obviously. So I've got that. I've got Rush, because I like my frames to have a bit of speed to them. It doesn't have to be <coughs> insane, although, actually, it just occurred to me, show you real quick, I've got Loki in here as well, who is the fastest frame in the game. Let's pick a better color scheme for him. That's my favorite for him. But yeah, I managed to get my Loki's sprint speed up to 1.81, which I know isn't the highest, but I'm still quite pleased with. He's very fucking quick, he runs faster than the doors can open in levels, which is hilarious. But going back to Oberon Prime, because he's kind of what we're focusing on right now. Where are you, my friend? There you are. Uh, yes. So we have Steel Charge, we have Rush, so power and speed, that's good. Intensify, obviously, maxed out. Hunter Adrenaline, very useful, converts, actually vital for this build, converts damage on health to energy. So for a healing frame, that's marvellous, because they're providing you with the energy you use to keep yourself alive, like I said. Fucking, uh, self-sustaining economy. Constitution, adds to your, um, ability to use your powers for extended periods of time at lower energy costs, and you recover from knockdown faster, which at the start of the game, not a big deal, later on, you'll be getting knocked down left and right. It's so frustrating. And that will at least ease some of the sheer irritation. Gladiator Aegis. More armor and combine, like all my Gladiator, because Gladiator mods are a set, right? I know most of you out there are like, yes, Foreman, I fucking know this, but some people don't. I'm just trying to help out people who don't know. 
but the gladiator set is a set and the way that sets work is the more of them you have equipped overall so i have a melee weapon with three gladiator mods attached to it and then i've got another gladiator mod attached to my warframe the more you have the higher the benefit you get from that set. So the Gladiator set gives you increased critical chance per combo multiplier. I get an extra 60% critical chance for every, like, one combat multiplier. So obviously one would be 0% because that's not a combo. But when I get to two, that's an immediate 60% increase. When I get to three, that's a 120% increase. Which, if I may check Vicor Sedan for just a second, Critical chance, 24%. Yeah, I wouldn't bring it up to 100, but it's high enough, and I swing enough times that most of my attacks are going to be crits. Combined with the fact that its critical damage is 5, times 5 damage on a critical hit, with a base of about 550 puncture damage, you're talking serious fucking damage. <laughs> I'm saying damage a lot, but it is necessary, because that's what we're all about. Vitality, obviously, for this build, incredibly important. Having a high health pool, which means... Because, like, there's no point having regenerating health if one attack can knock you to zero, because you can't regenerate dead, you know? So, having a high health pool technically also gives you a high energy pool and increases your survivability when using your energy pool for that purpose. Flow, obviously, no point gaining all that energy if you cap at, like, what, 200 or something. You need a lot of energy to work with. And finally, continuity, more duration, streamline for efficiency. It's not the best combo in the game, I know. I have friends who have better combos. But this is a fairly basic bitch combo, in my opinion, of mods that will, I feel personally, get you through all the base game content. When you start getting up to the higher level ship, then you kind of want to be playing with friends anyway to try and even the odds a little bit. You know, this will carry you through a lot of shit overall. Is there anything else? My Vacor Heck, which is my pride and joy, because it does 8,800 blast damage per shot. And that makes me very happy with a 25% critical chance. These are good mods. All of these. Chilling Reload, fantastic. Chilling Grasp, whatever. But, you know, I only had that green thing there and for that specific symbol, you know. Hell's Chamber, multi-shot, wonderful. Blaze, plus 60% overall damage, so all the damage types go up from that, and plus 60% heat damage. That's really good. Accelerated Blast, fire rate and puncture, you can put down a target very quickly. Vigilant Armaments, multi-shot, and the critical hits that I do sometimes get have a 5% chance to be enhanced, so more critical damage. Point blank, more damage. Scattering Inferno, heat and status chance. This thing has a 66.7% chance to inflict blast on people. Blast knock people over. So if my shots don't kill, they knock people to the floor, which then I can then shoot them again and again, and then they die. It is a very good combination. Ack Magnus, I adore this gun. I like, I think I got it fairly early on through a Renown pack because it was on, like, on sale, I think. It was incredibly cheap. And it has remained my favourite gun in the whole game. This is my... I mean, I'm not so confident about my mod configurations on this. But this is my damage version of Act Magni. So, you've got Augur Pact for... Energy spent on abilities to convert to shields, good for defence, and also more damage. 90% damage. 160% damage. 120% critical chance. So every shot out of my 16 clip magazine has a 48% chance to crit. Which is, you know, that's pretty decent. Lethal Torrent, more fire rate and multi-shot, great. More multi-shot, great. Reload speed, always useful. Target Cracker, more crit damage. It does 3.2 times its normal damage in crits. And a little bit of concussion rounds thrown on the top. I could do with former, former-ing. This thing a bit more to really squeeze as much power out of it as possible. But this is what I got for the time being. And I got con config A. I'm having trouble with my words today. And the idea of this is basically a balance of power and silence. This is my silent weapon, basically. And it's roughly the same as my damage one, except a lot more cold damage. Pretty much. More cold and impact damage, and no one can hear me fire it. So I could literally fire this, the full clip, I could fire next to someone's head and they wouldn't hear it. Which is useful, because my accuracy sucks. And then finally, I have a cat. 
This is my cat. It's called Tiny. It's very cute. But yes, that's all I've got for today in terms of Warframe. I might do some more one-offs on this, I don't know, it's fun to just dick around, but I'd have to think of something genuinely interesting to do. But that is, you know, considerations for another time. If you're on the fence about getting Warframe, I'd highly recommend at least giving it a try, because it's free. You know, I mean, great, it's a hefty download and it will take you a fucking while, but if it turns out you don't like it, you can just delete it. You know, you haven't paid any money, you haven't really invest- oh, hey, Conan Exiles, cool, thanks. You haven't really invested yourself, you know, you can still back out with no cost to yourself, other than maybe some time, if you decide you're not interested. But yeah, it's entirely up to you, I mean, you know. Either way, I hope you enjoyed watching the episode. It's a little one-offs like this are fun to record. Um, whatever I do next, and that's... Yeah, I've got something in mind, that'll be interesting. But whatever it is, gotta keep up the veil of suspense and surprise. I hope I see you there. Toodles! Goodbye!